This is a review of the Ivation Big Time Digital LED Clock. This is a large size clock. These uh, numbers here are roughly 4 inches tall, so they're quite large. And from one side to the other, they're basically about uh, 8 inches across, just for the numbers themselves. It also has an AM and PM indicator. Get the clock. It's going to be covered with a piece of thin plastic to protect the screen. That's to make sure the screen doesn't get scratched in shipment. Please make sure that you remove it. You can see how clear it is. It's absolutely perfectly clear. The unit comes with an AC wall power supply. It is UL approved. It is rated to operate on 120 volts and 60 hertz. There's also a, a, a two-page instruction sheet that helps guide you through the setup of the clock, but it's very simple. Cord from the prongs here to the tip of the plug-in that goes in the clock is 72 inches long. On the end here you'll see the plug-in for the AC power adapter. So you just plug it in here. On the back side here you'll see a couple things you should be aware of. The clock is designed to be mounted on a wall and there are two hanging slots here that you can uh, put screws in the wall to hang it with. In addition to that there's a pop-up stand here that allows you to set the clock on a table and have it stand up. The clock only has three buttons to set it with. They are the mode, the up, and the down buttons. When you first turn on the clock, it'll come on at 12 a.m. and you can see it flashing which means it's gone through a power failure basically. And on the back here on the mode button, if you press it, there are three brightness levels. Bright, medium, and low. If you hold the mode button in for four seconds, one, two, well, two seconds in this case. It comes up and says 12 hours. You can set it in 12 or 24 hour if mode. You press the button and you go into the time set mode. I can press the up button and set the time. Let's say it's 1 p.m. I'll advance through to 1 p.m. I can then hit the mode button again. And now it's going to set the minutes. And now I can adjust it to 1.30 for example. If you hold the button down, it quickly scans. And now the clock is set. And now I can touch the mode button. And the clock should stay set at 1.30. And there you can see it. Now you can see the two dots flashing to indicate the seconds going by. The attractive wall or table clock. As you can see here, it's standing up with its own stand. It's ideal for use in your office a meeting room, a conference room, a garage, a basement, a game room, an exercise room. It has a lot of uh, possibilities. You could even put it into a lobby of an office building so that people when they come in will see what time it is for their appointments. It's a nice, bright, and easy to read clock. It also would have a lot of uses in your home. Like I said, a game room, an exercise room, a basement, a garage, or an office. It's easy to read, easy to set up, nice and bright. It's actually too bright to use in a bedroom where I like it to be absolutely dark. So that's just my personal opinion, but I'm telling you, this clock is bright. I showed you how to set the time, and I wasn't even hardly looking at the back to do it. It's pretty easy. My clock has blue numbers on it. They're very bright. The clock is also available in red, green, or blue LEDs. The display is quite large. I have a big hand, so you can see they're four inches tall. If you have someone in your home that has trouble reading a clock, this is an ideal gift for them. It will really help them out a lot. As I mentioned, the power supply is UL approved, which means it's more safe, and I like that a lot. The negative I see is that if the power goes out, and the clock goes off, and the power comes back on, it resets to 12 a.m. You know, I kind of wish it had a battery that you could stick inside of it, just to back up the time and save the time setting. The display doesn't have to work when the power is off, but I would like to not have to set it every time I lose power. The exterior of the clock is nice, but it's made of plastic, and the front screen that you see here is very crystal clear plastic. It's recommended when you clean the clock that you're very careful. You don't want to any, use any cleaning agents or chemicals that might fog the plastic. You also don't want to wipe it and have dirt or dust on it, or have any kind of abrasive on your rag that might scratch the screen. If you do that, it will impair the clarity of the display. When we clean items like this in our home, 
We use a very slightly damp microfiber cloth that's been wet with warm water and wrung out very uh, dry. We then wipe the screens of clocks, TVs, and computer monitors, and it gets them nice and clean and streak-free, but you don't have any scratches on them. Make sure that you unplug your electronics when you do this, and wring out the microfiber cloth very well. well. This is a very nice and beautiful clock. It's stylish, attractive. The display is quite large and easy to read. It's ideal for a clock for an office, for example. It just really just speaks out to me to say, hey, you need this in an office or a conference room. I like it a lot. I rate it at five stars. This review was done by JJ CEO. I'd like to tell you that I received a sample for test and evaluation, and I promise to give a fair and honest review.